once you've logged into your parent Schoology account, you can click on your name and then you should see the children whose accounts you have associated with your own parent account and you can click on that child's name and you are viewing as the high school student you can look at any of their courses and let's look at this one so this is letting you know that these are some of the things that are in this course i can click on the test and this is just letting me know that that is a test there may not have been anything submitted um, <clears throat> I can also click on graded assignments, test quizzes, or discussions. One thing to note on discussion, when you look at it, you will only see um, your child's comments. So if other students, you won't be able to see what they've written. And same with uh, other people will not see what your child has written. In discussions, you will only see your own. In graded assignments, um, I click on that. This will let me know if something's missing. If there is a score that's been given, I can look at that score. If it's been excused, um, there's also one that can mean uh, incomplete. So that will just let you know the state of that assignment currently. If you wanna know a little bit more about it, you can certainly click on the assignment and it will take you to that spot again. Here it is. If I wanted to see what the child had submitted, because um, maybe I'm wondering, well, why did they get a three? I could look at the directions. I could look at uh, the rubric that might be there. When I click on this, I will most likely be able to see what the child has submitted. Not always. If they have submitted something that is from their Google Drive, the share permissions are defaulted to only allow members of the Peninsula School District. In this case, that would mean only students and staff. This is set to uh, make sure that our privacy and security is such that people outside of our district would not have access to that. And yes, parents are members of the Peninsula School District, but they do not have access to those inner files. So please talk to your child if you would like more information about what that looks like. Just have them open up their Google Drive and look at things that way. So those are some kind of general, how you can see kind of big picture things. Once you are in a course, let's, whoops, sorry about that. Once I am in, a course, I want to go to this demo course. Um, going to grades over here is another great way to see just the grades for that particular course. Um, if there's a line there, it means there hasn't been any grading done on that item. If there is a little piece of paper that's letting you know something has been submitted, but it hasn't been graded yet. So that would be a quick way. And again, you can click on the item and be taken right to um, the actual assignment like this one. If I go here, this will I can see the directions. So this will help me at least as a parent know, well, here's the directions that the child was given. Um, so I can provide additional support to them. Again, I would be able to click here. And this may be one of those cases where I may, oh, I can see it. So um, depending on how the share permissions have been on that particular item. But again, they do often default to only those within the Peninsula School District. So the other thing that you may want to do is receive a weekly or daily update. Uh, you can click on your child's name and when there's a check there, click settings and you're going to go to notifications and you can decide to turn on that parent email digest. Do you want it weekly, which day of the week and what time, or you can switch it to daily and again, uh, you get to choose what time of day you would like to receive this. So this, um, gives you just a quick um, overview of 
assignments and lists. It's not exhaustive. And again, um, it will depend on what the teacher has added to courses. Not every teacher is putting every item in Schoology. So uh, there may be work that's outside of Schoology that is still uh, being completed. So the best thing to do is look at the syllabus or the nuts and bolts document that the teacher has shared with you and students to outline how they'll be using Schoology, what to expect as far as grades, assignments, and so forth within Schoology. If you've got questions about using your parent account, please remember um, you should be a member of the Schoology Parent Guide. So click on that course and look for additional information, as well as use that S button search. And if you put in Parent Guide, you will get additional information there as well. Let us know if you have any questions.